Apple sales in China fell 27% in the fourth quarter of 2018, its biggest drop in any market. As an iPhone user myself, I felt it was a pity. But I must say that Apple's job shouldn't be seen as an epitome for the state of the Chinese economy. China's slowdown is certainly not the most dramatic in the world, nor is it as prominent as Apple's decline. This is Apple's problem. I clearly remember how China had a lot of Apple fans several years ago. They were even recognized among the public as a force of fashion. There were even jokes floating around about people selling their kidneys to buy iPhones. A white personality working for the Globe Times was nicknamed Director Kidney 6 because he used an iPhone 6. Now, Apple fans in China are not as hardcore as they used to be. iPhones are unlikely to become the prominent fashion symbols they once were. Huawei phones are increasingly popular among young people and other Chinese phone brands are also on the rise. Of course, I've noticed Apple services business grow and shares rise. I'd like to congratulate it for that.